what has gone wrong for you as an ex-Liverpool player, Jermaine? Um, I think they've lost key players, obviously. Mane was a, a, a huge loss. His work um, rate up front was like the catalyst for, for their defending from the front and they've lost a lot of legs in the midfield. So them two there is putting pressure on the defence straight away. They haven't got that protection. So previous seasons, they've not really been tested as much as they are now. So when you've got Trent, who's defensive, frailties are, are, are well known, that just gets highlighted and, and it's sometimes difficult for, for Liverpool to keep those clean sheets now like they was doing, you know, the back in the, the years when they won it and the years before that. Um, uh, uh, listen, you can talk about the players in the squad. I mm. find it kind of harsh. So many of them have done such great things in a Liverpool shirt. You look at the recruitment at Liverpool at the moment and, you, you know, for a period of time we were thinking, my Darwin Nunez isn't really doing it and Cody Gakpo hasn't hit the ground running and recently we've seen huge improvements there. Luis Diaz looks like he's coming back to Liverpool training. Could be a big boost for the end of the season. Massive boost. As well. But you were talking about that midfield and I'm kind of thinking, well, Liverpool fans have been shouting about midfielders for a long, long time haven't really seen the investment in that area that we probably should have. And the, and the club maybe is paying for not addressing that. Now, you hit, you see Liverpool fans screaming, we've got to sign Jude Bellingham, you know, for whatever it might be, £100 million. Pounds. And you're kind of thinking, well, that maybe, well, it addresses the problem by bringing in an excellent player. But it doesn't address the wider problem of the whole midfield. He's not going to do it all on his own. And I kind of think that they're looking at such a great talent and maybe the future, the next Steven Gerrard, they kind of see as a, a figurehead for the football club without maybe thinking sensibly about where they are in terms of the all-round all team. Because you're going to need new defenders as well, particularly a centre-back at Liverpool. There's, there's kind of a lot of work to do there. I wouldn't say a lot of work, but when you look at a, a top midfielder, like Jude, for example, who can dictate play, who's he's, he's also good at getting back, breaking up the play, going forward, it takes a lot of pressure. At the moment, teams are running over Liverpool dominating the midfield and if you're dominating midfield you, you you kind of dominate the game and you're putting pressure on the defence so if you've got someone like a Jude and maybe you know they, they definitely need one or two more for sure if you've got a player like Jude which can control the game push you forward take you forward it takes a lot of pressure off the defence think you'll get him? well they've apparently tabled a bit of uh, offer for little rumours going little on little rumours going yeah, on for yeah. 100 mil so far or just shy <laughs> would um, you advise him seriously though Jude Bellingham seems like a player with his head on his shoulders he made the decision not to go to Manchester United which yep. must be a difficult thing for any player to turn down he went to Borussia Dortmund he's been yep. learning his trade in the Bundesliga brilliant in an England shirt so far is Liverpool going to be the right club for him and I know you're biased <laughs> I know you're biased no. on this but you think oh Real Madrid Manchester City you know it's it, it, you almost feel like, yeah, he is going to be the next Steven Gerrard in that we'll still be sitting here saying, could he be at a bigger club? No, I'm not. You, you, can you get bigger <laughs> than Liverpool? Maybe maybe a more... Look, if you go to Real Madrid, yeah, you're going to more or less win yeah. the La Liga this is what I'm saying. and you're going to be in for the champion, um, Champions League. But coming to Liverpool, you will be... He could be the next Steven Gerrard, as in, not as playing wise, but as a, a cool hero as he can be the, 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 the front of Liverpool. He's only 19, so we can have years. The Klopp gets the best out of these players. We've seen players come into to, to Liverpool and, and turn into fantastic players. And I think, not being biased, Bellingham would really shine. Would then, he'd shine anywhere. But being at Liverpool, he could dictate that midfield. He can take that number eight and things would work around him for the future for the next five to how many years it, it, it would say this so I think it would really progress at a team like Liverpool rather than maybe Man City 